so we've got, you know, the, the coffee roastery is right across the street from the buildings that we restored to put Sterling Soap Company in. So, you know, we're slowly restoring what, what's a pretty dilapidated downtown here in, in, in rural Arkansas. So we, the, the initial problems we had was finding contractors to do the work. We had hoped to be, have the roaster installed and be roasting before Christmas or shortly thereafter. Um, but we ran into all types of issues finding people to do the work, you know, including stuff as, as absolutely silly as, I'm sorry, I don't take jobs during deer season. Um, yes. And then when they called me at March and said, hey, do you still need work? No, not from you. I don't. Thanks. You can. But, you know, we, wow. we've got we we were able to find a, a really good crew. I've, I've got an awesome, you know, crew that is, is helping us with the restoration. Now we, we've got the HVAC going in um, tomorrow is insulation. And then the last thing will be August 3rd to 5th. We'll have the floors done. Um, the roaster is already there. It was delivered two weeks ago. So sometime around August 6th or 7th, we plan on getting the roaster finally into the, the actual building uh, and installing it. And then, you know, a week or so from there, we'll, we'll start doing our test roast on the machines. I've never used a machine this big, um, nor is Mandy. The, the biggest we've ever used is a, a six kilogram, which is, you know, that's a, it's an artisan batch. And then the one we're using right now will roast 20 K 20 K is about 45 pounds of beans at a time. So it's, you know, we're going to, we're going to be sending out a lot of free coffee to people before we actually, you know, we're, we're, we feel comfortable on the machine where we're, we're putting out a premium product and, uh, and ready to move on from there. I'm willing to try executive man flavored coffee. Just so oh that you know, <laughs> you would not believe <laughs> I've said, will there be an executive man oh, coffee? Oh, kill me. I that's mean, a, that's I'm, a pineapple and British tar. I'm not, I'm not surprised because it's just so silly. But I mean, I can, I can only imagine the number of probably emails or messages you get. I'm just like, really? That's hilarious though. You know, it's good well, though, because it, it makes me feel confident in this venture because you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. a pretty, it's not a huge stretch because I think a lot of people, who are willing to leave Barbasol and Gillette and use and go back to wet shaving. I think a lot of them in all likelihood are already drinking a good premium coffee. They're, they're not getting a Folgers crystals. So I'm hoping that the pivot, but the, the fact that we get so many emails, Hey, I'm getting ready for an order. How close are you on the coffee? Do I need to wait? you know, gives me hope that, that we're going to, you know, be successful from the onset in this. Was there always a vision to do a coffee roastery or was this something that was just born out of a, a passion for coffee in general? Um, both. We started thinking about the coffee. We actually originally came up with the idea um, I want to say five, six years ago. It, was, it may not have been that long. It was around the time Luke, um, Carrie Siebert's son there at Soap Commander, he had started roasting, you know, just at home on a, you know, in, in an oven, just doing oven roasts. And, you know, it, it wasn't bad coffee, but it was like, you know, they've got a really great idea here um, because, you know, it, it's – if you're willing to pay for good soap, you're probably going to be willing to pay for good coffee. And I, I love, I live for coffee. I mean, if, if you took coffee away from me, I would probably just quit and move up in the mountains. So it, it, it was, like I said, it, it was born out of something that we thought that it was just a natural fit, you know, but also it was something that, that we're both passionate about. And honestly, Mandy's a, Mandy's a better roaster than me. She's got a better nose for it. Um, she chalks it up to the pregnancies and, and everything that comes along with that. But she's, she's fantastic of that with that. And she'll be the lead roaster. And actually she's the head of the company. Um, we're 50, 50 owners of Sterling soap company. Um, but while I'll be employed by the coffee company as well, she's the, she's the sole owner of the company.